Hi guys, I nearly forgot you. But um, I remembered just at the right moment. Now, when I was trying the gantry on this baseboard, I discovered I'm about a sixteenth of an inch or something like 1.6mm out on either side or uh, if you prefer 3.2mm out on one side so what I decided to do was rather than um, try and cut that small amount off neatly of the, from the baseboard I thought I'd make uh, packing pieces with some uh, 1.6mm printed circuit board I got. A crappy board anyway. So uh, it's not... Uh, that one looks a bit uh, iffy. Um, so it's not of any consequence. Just take that little bit off of there. That's it. Screw that up. Right. So what I'm doing is I've... Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I've marked uh, the centre just roughly by eye. When I say by eye, I don't mean by me, I mean by my eye, by me. Now I'm confused. Right. Yes, I know I could use a, I should use a pedestal drill and blah blah blah. But uh, it's too heavy to drag up here from the shed. And on top of which I'm in my kitchen and uh, I'd rather not have too much in the kitchen that makes it look like a workshop, which it does now anyway, but there we go. Last one. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do afterwards. Okay, right. so that when I finish doing what I'm doing and if I'm not going to be using it for two or three days then I can unbolt it, put it down and store it flat pack neatly somewhere. Um, how well that will work I've no idea. Um, I'm deliberately going to put adjustments on the um, axis so that it will allow me to adjust fractions to make sure everything is level and square and all the rest of it that has to be done. Right, so we're now going to drill these pilot holes for the screws. do on the side 
show you what I'm going to do. Then I'll switch the camera off so you, know, so you don't bore you to death. Do the other side the same way. And then screw it onto the um, screws them onto the uh, gantry. Actually, no. What I'll do is uh, I'll screw one onto the gantry off camera, and then I'll show you how I screw the other one on. And then that way uh, you'll at least see how it all goes together. Right. So let's uh, carry on and uh, finish these pilot holes. By the way, I, uh, <coughs> this is MDF I'm using here, I um, can't remember whether I mentioned that in a, in a video earlier on, um, but uh, that's one way of making sure that uh, you keep your bench clean, do it in the kitchen. <laughs> Especially if you've got a wife with a rolling pin. I haven't. <laughs> right, we'll just do these three at the bottom now. I know that uh, I should be um, using this and that to make sure my holes are perpendicular and level and all, you know, all the rest of it. But I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for something that works. And uh, if it works, I'm happy. I mean, uh, if my name was Seven of Nine, cool, what a thought, um, then yes, I would be looking for perfection. But, uh, Christ, I'd make a fortune if I was Seven of Nine, wouldn't I? Um, but I'm not, so uh, I'm uh, just. Uh, going for something that works because uh, I'm only using this for printed circuit boards um, maybe the odd bit of uh, wood engraving I'm not uh, doing stuff that uh, needs um, sort of thousandths of an inch perfection right there we are now what I'll do is uh, I'll show you now what I'm going to do with these. Okay, and they will go there like that, like that, like that, and like that. That one goes that way round. I said. Now, yes, I know that the gap would be here as well, at the bottom, but that's going to be taken up by washers, uh, simply to make life easy for me bolting and unbolting. Now, uh, you're thinking to yourselves, <laughs> when you lift that up, they're all going to fall off. <laughs> I'm ahead of you. Where is it? Liquid welder? <laughs> yeah. Should have covered up the name as well, shouldn't I? Okay. And I'm not being too fussy because um, 
It's just to hold it in place so that I can uh, screw it on. Excuse me. Here we go there. That one can go over there for a minute. What I'm going to do now is I'll let that dry for a little while. Then I'll screw that onto the side of the gantry. And uh, then I'll come back when I've done the other one. Um, and show you um, me screwing it onto the gantry and how I do it. I don't know, just to screw it and screw, but it'll, it'll show people who uh, have never done this before because this is what is, this is aimed at. People who have never done this before. Um, yeah, there's plenty of engineers out there that can make it better. I know that, and that's up to them. They can use this as an example. Um, that's why I'm not giving too many measurements out because uh, you can make it bigger, smaller. I mean, not all um, carriages are going to be the same length and the same width. They are different. Um, in fact, this one is a good two inches shorter. So, um, there's a big difference. So it'll depend on what, what you get and how you want to do it. But this is just a basic guide um, in a practical way so that anybody can do this. And as I say, it's only being built to do printed circuit boards and the dashboard on my nice EV. So uh, I probably wouldn't do it if um, I didn't need something like a hundred and odd printed circuit boards. Um, there's 12 in each battery, or no, 13 with the QA board in each battery. Uh, and I'm using 16 batteries on the car. But by the same token, I want to do some for my uh, alternative energy system as well. So uh, it'll be more than that. So I should be uh, using this quite a bit. Okay then, I'll uh, let you go and I'll be back when I'm ready to show you um, the other side of the gantry. Alright, bye for now.